Hello everyone, my name is Audrey Perkins and I'm one of the arts editors at the Indiana Daily Student. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a European style hot chocolate. All of the ingredients can be found online, but here's just a clip to show you guys what you guys will have to work with. For the first step, you're going to take your milk and heat it until it's just about boiling. I've already skipped that step, but you'll want it to be steaming and just foamy as you can see here. Uh, for the next step, add your chocolate chips and just dump it into the warm milk. Um, for the easiest way to go about this, it's best just to let the chocolate sit. The milk will naturally melt. However, I was impatient, so I just went ahead and started stirring. Uh, you can go this route as well. When you think you're already mixed, it should look like this. So just keep stirring until it's all fully melted and pull the pan to the side. Uh, for the next step, you're going to want to take a bowl and combine the cornstarch and the cocoa powder and you're going to want to slowly add in a tablespoon or two of the chocolate and milk mixture so that you can create a really thick paste. And what you're trying to do with this is that the chocolate will intensify the flavor and the cornstarch will thicken your hot chocolate into this really creamy mixture. However, you can't really just dump the powder into the hot chocolate, so you want to slowly dissolve it with tablespoon by tablespoon at a time of liquid until it looks like this. Uh, when you think you've achieved a good consistency, set that mix aside and bring back your pan of chocolate and milk and add that cornstarch mix back into the pan and what you're going to want to do is that since it's already liquefied it should be really easy to combine the cornstarch into the milk and would not create any lumps in the cooking process. So once it's been poured in just give it a good stir to fully combine and you're going to want to return the pan back to the heat on high. Um, especially since this is on high, this is a good fast way of creating this recipe, but it has some danger, so don't let the mixture sit too long on its own. And just keep stirring until it thickens and looks like that. It should lightly coat the back of a spoon. Um, when you think you've reached the right consistency you want, go ahead and pull the pan off the heat, and you're going to want to serve it up. I don't recommend using large cups for this, just because this is quite a rich recipe, as you can see. I used small teacups and each cup held around a fourth to a third of a cup of liquid. As for the toppings, I chose to use a cinnamon whipped cream and honey. However, you guys can choose whatever you want. Enjoy!